What was that? Who's there when you're alone? Uh, I didn't see anything, guys. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> if you run... It will chase you. It will kill you. Die laughing. So Brock, tell me, how was your night? The flashbacks, they haunt me. I couldn't get any sleep last night because of it. Every time there's a storm or something, it takes me right back. I see. You might be suffering from PTSD. PT what? PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a fairly new medical concept. You might be familiar with shell-shocked. I've heard about it. I heard that talking to someone about it can make it go away. So you want me to tell you my story? Only if you're willing, Brock. I remember when I was drafted, I was actually kind of excited to go, believe it or not. Nothing special was happening to me at home. I thought maybe if I went to the war, I could be somebody. But I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Vietnam was hell. Where are we? Where are we? We're good, man. That's over there. Keep the voice down. Move out. The transformer should be up ahead. You see him? did them in. Damn it! The transformer was back there. We need to get there. How do you plan on doing that? I don't know. We're gonna have to get there tomorrow morning. I say we make camp here now. Uh, 
597, 598, 599, 1000. Probably watching us. Move out, man. Gibson, are you alright? We're gonna get you out of here. Come on. We'll get you out of here. Come on, come on. This is Specialist Manly. We have a man down, man down. Requesting immediate med medical assistance. We need a medivac for extraction, over. Roger that, what is your location? We're in sector C2, quadrant B. Come as quickly as you can, ASAP, come on, we need you guys. Hold tight, we're on our way. Sergeant Lee, Sergeant Lee, got a man down, come over here. Get up, get up. There's still too many out here. Gotta go fish them off so you guys can get out of here safely. Wait, Pat, don't go. I ask for the good of the squad. If I don't go, you all die. Uh, uh. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. That's the last time you ever saw Chet Manley? He was never heard from again. Losing a friend is hard, Brock. Accepting is overcoming. How can I accept that I left a man for dead? I could have saved him. I could have been there for him. I should never have gotten into that chopper. There was nothing you could have done, Brock. Getting on the helicopter saved your life. You had to leave him behind. Nobody's life was saved. My life was over the second I got that drafting letter. No man wins a war. War is a losing game. What? What are you saying? You know what I'm saying. Brock, look at me. You have a beautiful life. You can't get rid of it now. You survived the war in Vietnam for a reason. Your life was meant to be saved. Sergeant Lee! Why'd you leave me there to die? I was your friend, your brother, your comrade. And you threw it all away for what? You get away by yourself? I, I'm sorry. Brock. I'm sorry. What? Are you all right? What? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I got distracted. Brock, I think I know what the problem is. You have what's called survivor's guilt. I think you should write everything down. I think your post-war stress is starting to hurt you. Do you understand what I've just told you, Brock? Are you listening to me? You can't let this ruin you, Brock. There's always a way of getting around your problems. Okay, okay. I'll write everything down. 
I'm sorry, Brock. That's all we have time for. Don't forget to write everything down. Pour your heart out. Get some rest. And that's exactly what I did. I wrote, and I wrote, and I wrote. I wrote about what I had seen and what I had lost. I decided not to publish my story. Who would want to read about me? To the public, I'm just another citizen. So many people in the world, and only so few can recognize what I've been through. In 1967, the year I returned home, 11,153 young American men lost their lives. Even after 15 years, the war still lives on in my mind. My only solace is the Vietnam War Memorial. They just opened it in Washington, D.C. a few weeks ago. This is the only place where the names will never be forgotten. I hope I'm never forgotten.